Hello and welcome to Not Enough Duct Tape, the podcast that may or may not exist. I'm Hannibal and I want world peace, or a scotch and soda will do. With me I've got Kane. Hi guys, um, world peace maybe, but a scotch definitely sounds good at the minute. Oh, I thought so. So, we are Not Enough Duct Tape. Um, we, if you are wondering what Not Enough Duct Tape is, well, uh, join the club. Um, we don't really know what it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be us talking shit. Pretty much, for a little bit, every couple of weeks. And we'll see how it goes from there, I guess. Yeah, pr- pretty much. That's pretty much the gist of what's going to happen here. So, uh, this is our first episode, pretty much. We're going to, um, we've got a few topics here. We're going to talk some shit about them. Um, we've gone for some light and easy topics for our first week. Lol. <coughs> um, Kane's dying over there. Um, we've picked a yeah, great... Yeah, about that. <laughs> Yeah, we picked a great time to record this. We're both kind of ill, so it's great. It's also summer here in Australia, and I've had to turn off my fan to do this recording, so it's hot in here, so oh, fuck. It's going to be fun. Alrighty, yeah, well. Okay, yeah, okay, let's do this. Yeah, fuck yeah. All right. so, our first ever topic, because for some reason we've decided that this is the ideal topic to start our podcast on. Is the world completely fucked? Okay, that's not actually what I have written here. What I actually have written here is, is the world the same place it was five years ago? We've had a pretty fucked few years here on this planet. Um, politics is nuts, uh, and just just so much crazy shit has happened. Is the world completely fucked? Is it is it the same as it was five years ago? Are we headed for an apocalypse? Discuss. I don't know. At the moment, I'm going to say pretty much, yeah, we're all fucked and we're all going to die. I mean, that's a pretty doom-laden way to look at it, but you're probably right. Um, I mean, I live in Australia, so we're probably all right. Like, you guys will all go to nuclear war and we'll just be down here going, fuck, what happened to the rest of them, eh? Yeah, that's probably about right. You know, living in the UK, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty fucked over here. Russia one side, America the other. Yeah, it's all fun. Yeah, yeah, they're going to start firing missiles across across the UK. I don't know why they'd do that, but they're going to. They'll just fall They could short. use us as target practice. Ouch. It's probably accurate, though. They'll just start, probably. They'll just start using all of the UK and Europe to, like, hone their missiles, and then they'll start shooting each other. Yeah, just like Springfield, we're designated NWB for nuclear whipping boy. <laughs> that That's probably accurate. In Australia, we're just we'll just be down here going. Fuck. We should have got some missiles, hey. Maybe we can borrow some from America. We we seem we seem to like them. Maybe they'll lend us some. Yeah, they probably got pl- they probably got plenty spare. They could lend you a few, you know. I don't or know. Listen to you on a on a nice little loan deal. <laughs> they'd send them to us, and they'd be, just be like, w- "Where are you guys going to keep them?" We're like, "Oh, oh, out back somewhere. Keep them up and down." We've got a big desert. We've got a big area to keep them in, you know, we just put them somewhere, probably lose them, forget about them. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you do with those missiles we lent you? Fuck. Game to stay. Just don't tell anyone. Yeah, he lost them. He he got drunk and forgot where he parked the, the truck with them on. <laughs> yeah, this is a truck. This is a casual truck carrying nuclear missiles. We just We just gave him the keys, he got pissed, and it's now somewhere probably... Probably in Queensland. We're, we're not sure. Yeah, you think, you know, you, you just find them sometime in the future when they're no longer needed. Yeah. No, we'll just, we'll just, we'll probably just, like, dump them in Tasmania. That's, like, our storage facility. There's nothing down there anyway. Oh, poor Tasmania. If anyone from Tasmania is listening, prove me fucking wrong. <laughs> Kidding! Kidding! Don't, don't. Oh, well, though, although you've got to prove yourselves right, because according to some people, Australia doesn't exist. It's a big conspiracy, remember? Oh, fuck. That's actually, that's that's true. I mean, I could just be an AI um, program. I mean, I'm a pretty, pretty shit AI program, if that's the case. I mean. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree there. Yeah, yeah. Someone, someone really needs to work. <coughs> I really need an update, is really what I'm saying here. Um, I feel like we've gotten off topic. <laughs> yeah, completely. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, I th- 
I, I think we can decide. I think we can agree. World fucked. Move on. Yeah, world's fucked. Let's have a scotch. <sighs> scotch sounds good. I should have poured one before I recorded. All right. Um. So let's go for something lighter. What do you reckon? Yeah, sounds good. Modern movies. Why do they suck? That's a good question. Because obviously I'm guessing no one's having any original ideas. They seem to remake movies and make them worse. <clears throat> I, I know, and sequels. Oh my god. We sequels, prequels, fucking sequels. sequels of prequels, and yeah. Pre sequels. Yeah, yeah, one of them. Oh god. I, you know what? Like, I, I, okay, I'm not big into movies. I'll admit that now. But, like, I have seen so few movies in the last, let's go five years, that I think are worth watching, um, that have come out in the last five years. And I, I don't know, it's just, they just seem to progressively get worse. Yeah, you're not wrong there, a lot of them aren't any good. You know, these all these remakes they're doing and stuff, they just make no sense. And they're nowhere near as good as the originals. Yeah. And I, I don't know, like, I, I, I was looking today actually at movies that are coming out this year um nothing to do with the podcast or anything and uh yeah like I don't know th there was one movie in there Pacific Rim 2 and I, I liked the original Pacific Rim so I, I think it would be interesting to see uh the second one but I don't have high hopes for it I mean I, I don't know where they'd go with that movie and obviously sequels let down the franchise so often so many times so yeah, that's definitely the case. No, I like that film. It was a good film. Yeah, it was, it was It'd be interesting to watch. I agree. It'd be interesting to watch. I just hope they don't completely mess it up. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, it doesn't even fall into the category of the last five years. Like, that was five years ago that Pacific Rim came out. So That's very true. Oh, well, never mind. <sighs> fucking modern movies. They fucking suck. Let's just, let's just all go back to watching silent black and white movies. Yeah, that'll help us a lot, you know. Oh, yeah. Let's watch... Silent film with no sound, and well, with no vision, that's a good idea. We can just oh, yeah. pretend we know what's going. On. Oh yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, we're both blind here, so yeah. So let's not go. Silent with movies, FTW. Woo! All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, uh, social media, something that I'm addicted to, and that Kane is old, so he doesn't fully understand. Thanks for that. No problem. Look, social media in this modern day is so important, and yet so many people just don't know how to use it. Now, uh, before you all go <laughs> at me, all three people that are going to listen to this podcast, look, I I I'm going to clarify this. I hear on a regular basis from people on Twitter, from people on Facebook people I meet in real life, friends, family, they go, oh god, I hate Twitter, no one ever posts anything good on there, I hate Facebook, I don't know anyone I've got on my friends list, I don't, my MySpace page doesn't get any hits anymore, I mean, if you're using MySpace, I, that's your own fault, seriously, who the fuck still uses MySpace, I mean, the last time I heard of MySpace was when I wrote that stupid joke, so, yeah, anyway, but in regards to the other two, like, Honestly, if if you're not seeing interesting things on Twitter, you're not following the right people, and that's your own fucking fault. Like, there are millions of people on Twitter, and so many of them have interesting things to say, no matter what topic you want to see it. If you want to see music things, like uh, politics, or like, humor, you want to see funny shit, like, there are Twitter accounts out there, just fucking look for them. Yeah, I don't use Twitter enough anymore. I think I'll get, have to get back into it and start having a look, see what's going on on there. Yeah, you have to, because you have to do social media for this fucking podcast. Cause, that sounds like a plan, then. Yeah, because, you know, like we need more than the three people who, who are on You've been optimistic with three. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, you and me, we just need to find one person to listen to it other than... I, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to listen to it. I feel like I'm going to end up editing them, so I probably won't watch it on YouTube. So, two, if you watch it. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll I'll see what I can do with getting one other person. Cool, cool. Our viewership is skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know. 
Yeah, this like... time next year, we could have a million subs on YouTube and be famous. <laughs> and then YouTube blows up. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't... That would be the death of YouTube. Oh, God, poor YouTube. Yep. Yeah, that's 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 never going to go well. But, I mean, again, YouTube's another little thing. Fuck, people don't know how to use YouTube. I don't know how people don't know how to use YouTube, but I'm just... I'm on a roll complaining here, so fuck it. You don't know how to use and YouTube. And you say, I'm the old man. Yeah, you are an old man. I am ranting like an old man. You are an old man. Okay, then. Deal with it. And Facebook's another one. You know, people say, oh, I don't know anyone of my friends. I say, well, who the fuck's fault's that? Like, you're the fucking one who added them, or accepted the friend requests, or whatever. Like, yep. just fucking follow the people you want. Friend the people you want on there. And and that's a, oh that's another fucking thing. So many people say, oh, I don't want to unfriend them. Like I don't want to be rude. Well, if you don't like what they're posting or you don't care about it, either unfriend them or hide them from your freaking news feed. Like God, it's not rocket science. Yeah, just unfollow. It's all you have to do, and they're gone. They're still in your friends list, so you're not being rude. You're just ignoring their posts. <sighs> yeah, people people are stupid. They really are. But yeah, um, and uh, all right. Thanks, guys, for listening. This has been Not Enough Duct Tape. This is our first episode. If you liked it, uh, like it. If you didn't like it, please don't not like it or unlike it or de-like, whatever the fuck it is on YouTube. Um, dislike, dude. Dislike. dislike. Um, it's, it's on YouTube, so the usual shit. Like, subscribe, all that crap. Turn notifications on, as they all say at the end of their videos now. Okay. Was it smash the like button? Smash the like. Don't, don't smash That's it. The no, you don't want to smash it, you'll break it. But that's that's the new slang term, isn't it? You've got to smash that like button. All right, smash the like button, guys. Well, I've been Hannibal. And I've been Kane. And uh, don't forget, uh, it's never enough duct tape.